I had one question. So you and Dave Chappelle, you guys are on talking terms now, right? Yeah. And were you guys were so for a long time? Because what was that like? You guys had a. We were, and it's okay. We, we don't have were to talk not, about it if you don't want. We the way the show went, the, basically the way the negotiation after the show got popular was just not like good. Did you have a? Were you able? Were you guys negotiating together with Comedy Central, or or you guys were negotiating separately? Kind of separately, right? Um, so where and that's the problem. You know that that's and I told them before we started. I go, you know they're going to play divide and conquer. They have to pay you. They don't have to pay me. So the only way they'll pay me is if you make them, and then they would they played him. There, it's just so many people come between when something's popular. It just you just get layers of uh, people that want to seem more important and want to f- seem like they're doing things for oh, of course to protect Dave or, or who it's not Dave, it was Dave in that case but it's a bunch of people it can be a sh- sh- fucking and so someone who actually is making the thing uh, they resent me you know what I mean because like they're just they're not writing they're not directing they're not in the shit um you mean like a like an executive like not executives like more like lawyers agents man oh, that yeah. type of thing they resent you because you have to be included because i'm part the, of the show i'm uh, yeah, i do the show right they're not i didn't just i don't call and i make the show did so you they, so then that creates separation and then um and then he left and it was fucking like that added to it was that so a then, surprise when he left I mean, like in retrospect, not really, but that's a pretty big swing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, what do you guys think? Yeah, like <laughs> yeah. going to Africa yeah. is like that's eh, pretty big. <laughs> like I didn't see that coming. Although, like it, that's exactly out of proportion. That's as out of proportion as the rest of the show. Right, right, right. Where it's like the most popular shit, and then like, what's the ch- leaving the show version yeah. of the Rick James sketch? <laughs> Going to Africa, right? Not telling anyone. All right, I'll, I'll do that. Uh, so there's that, and then we didn't really speak. We spoke a little bit, and then since like we've been cool since like oh seven. Yeah, um, yeah. I know you guys are. I know you guys have been for a while. Uh, did whenever you watched the last dance, did you think of yourself like a Scotty Pippen at all? Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, I watch. I mean, I said it in three mics. It was like Scotty Pippen. It was like it's like being on a team with Michael Jordan, and so. It's funny seeing Pippin get mad. It's like, I want to call him and be like, Pip, <laughs> there's nothing we can do. Yeah, he's going to there's play. There's just nothing you can do. It's, he, I, he's going I to play for Birmingham. He's about, going to play for Birmingham. Yeah. You know? Yeah, and there's nothing. And also, like, I got to get my... It, it, they can't. Yeah. <laughs> the audience only understands single... They don't... Un, no one's ever been on, like, even when they say a dream team, one of them's better. Yeah. They always just like LeBron and D Wade. It's LeBron, right? Capital LeBron, smaller D Wade, or or LeBron and Anthony Davis. Like, but the mixture makes it, of course, right? But and then if you're Dave, but you don't want to fucking acknowledge a mixture with a fucking white person. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean. And I get that. <laughs> Fucking, you know what I mean? Like, yes. And man, it's if fun. you'd have been black, do you think that the show would have been picked up for another season? Then, well, it wasn't picked up. It's just, it was picked up. If I'd have been black, that's a really good question. Uh, I don't. It's impossible to know. It would have been a little no, but then it, yeah. It there's a different. There would have been different tensions if I were black. There would have right. been like a lot of the same ones, and then a, a host of other ones that right. I probably don't even realize. Right. Uh, but but no, of course. So it's like they don't. You watch it and you go, "Yeah, Scotty Pippen's fucking great." <laughs> yeah, it's just not he as great as job. him. <laughs> he shows up. He does. It's just not as good as him. It's like the I that deal with that all the time. Like there was a there was a uh, I went on after Dave at the Comedy Cellar one time, and the. Uh, the MC was like, it's the next guy's co-creator Chappelle show. And I go, and I go on. I'm like, the co-creator Chappelle show was a really good credit. Unless Dave just went on. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's nothing. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's fucking great. Oh, that's interesting. Unless the fucking guy was just here. It's not now. You're just like, ugh. 
<laughs> uh, so I get the. It's just an insurmountable. I don't. I, but I. I will say I'm. Ne- I'm not. I'm not jealous. I'm not really jealous of Dave. Mm. Even uh, Chris Rock said that one time. He's like, you're just not jealous. You're just, I don't like, I'm mad. I have like personal argument shit with Dave, but I'm right. not like, I'm, I should have been Rick James. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> with fucking t- very different skills. Yeah. And, uh, and so I'm happy to be myself. And, and to the underdog thing, it is fun to uh, climb out of it. Yeah. It's fuck. It. Sometimes I look at my career and I'm like, this is a fucking miracle. Wow. It's a miracle that like I was a writer for a TV show that was really popular and now I'm a kind of famous comedian. Yeah. That's fucking impossible. Like I wasn't a comedian and then I like figured out how to do it and like it's it's crazy. Yeah. And I'm not even like suck my dick like i just mean like right yeah, i think yeah. about it you just get like objective you look at your career objectively your life objectively you have to look at things yeah i mean uh, even lo- well looking back on on Chappelle, can you see like was he at, uh, just under a, you think like looking back now and knowing how we see like people get stressed and the overwhelmingness of things do you think yeah i think it's just stress and i think it's not it just once things are not fun it's not and also once you're talking about that much money and people know how much money you're making and it's on the cover of the paper and it's, it's like, Something it's dirty not, about it's it. like, yeah, it's, it's, it's like, uh, the difference. Between, I've said this to a basketball player, like the difference between a rookie contract and a max deal rookie contract. Everyone feels like they're, even if you're the best rookie, they're like, man, you're making 5 million bucks. Yeah. That's pretty fucking good. And then you get your max deal. You're making 33 million a year. And they're like, I don't know what you're going to do, but it, fucking better be good (laughs) go no go show me mr 33 million dollars and it's just a less fun position to be in yeah which is the thing of having never had a wedding like you know we'll we'll never get i don't think anyone will ever be like okay mr smarty pants or whatever like i don't think that that's a thing that we may never have to deal with and that which is good which is a good, that's an advantage that we don't have to, we'll have to deal with like, it's not as good as this last thing or any of that stuff, but it'll never be like, I feel like Joe somehow got around it. I don't think anyone resented him. And I think it has to do with his looks and clothes um, and habits. I don't think his habits have changed. Yeah, and his habits too, he lifts people up a lot, you know? Yeah. He does, I feel like, include people a lot. Yeah. Um, uh, so that's the, but I don't, but like, you know, me and Dave argued about it for six hours, like three weeks ago. <laughs> really? Uh huh. Oh, that's fun. It's fucking hilarious. It's hilarious. It's so interesting. But yeah, what a, I mean, what a comeback. Because yeah, like to think that to go then to Comedy Central and they won't give you a new show, and then you're like, wow. I mean, you had to feel. Well, they wanted me to produce black sketch shows. Right. That I can do till I die. Um, they'll give me, please. <laughs> yeah. You got blank check for that. But I'm like, I don't want to. <laughs> It was, it was not what I, that wasn't even, it was a black sketch show, but it was more just a show about Dave. It wasn't like, and then black, something black will happen. Um, <laughs> yeah, do something black. And then uh, something black, do blackness. <laughs> um, <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, it is, I don't get many opportunities. They There's just, people have a bias against me and that I don't understand. Good evening, good afternoon, and other times. Thanks for watching that video you just saw. I mean, it was okay. But the next video you could watch could be way better. What if you watch a video right now that changes your life? Well, you could. Watch this one. Or watch this one. Watch this one. Watch this one. Watch this one. Ah!